Thanks for staying with us. The governor of Benue State, Hyacin Alia, has assured core members deployed to the state of improved welfare and security throughout the SFS year. The governor spoke at the NYNC camp during the swearing-in ceremony of core members of the 23 Batch B Stream 1 Mayowa Okwato reports. This is the oath taken, administered by the representative of the Chief George of Benue State, Justice Ikiage. The state coordinator, while charging the sworn in core members to be in their best behavior, this is the opportunity to charge the government on continuous partnership in terms of welfare and security of core members in the state. He further appeals for more synergy and better relationship as this will discourage the higher rates of relocation out of the state. The skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development, which will soon be introduced to you in the course of the exercise, is highly beneficial program that put together by NYC to eradicate joblessness, considering the unending absence of white collar jobs in Nigeria. Representing the state governor is the chief of staff, Paul Piam. He reiterates the government's commitment to addressing the issue raised by the state coordinator. He further assures core members deployed to the states of improved welfare and security throughout their service year. What we are going to do, welfare packages, we intend to meet with the management. Uh, I'm not actually the governor myself. So when we meet, we convey the message and the request by the state director. And I promise in my speech that we'll look into it deeply to ensure that certain measures are taken for them to be comfortable while they serve in Benway State. Mr. Biam adds that governments would continue to interact and engage core medical personnel for the overall benefit of the state and its people. Mayowa Okwato, TVC News, Wanone. Let's move to Delta State now, where lawyers in Nigeria are seeking for ways to end discrimination against persons with disabilities by the continuous enlightenment of the public on the Disability Act, which has been in existence since 2018. The legal practitioners known as Nigerian Bar Association Lawyer with Disability Forum held its maiden summit on disability inclusion to engage critical stakeholders towards implementation of the Disability Act. Ikenna Amichi reports. Though it is four years now since former President Mohamed Buhari assented to the Disability Act, not many are aware of it and its implications. So many state governments are yet to domesticate or even attempt to execute the art that will aid the inclusion of people living with disabilities. These lawyers are today taking a bold step towards the implementation of the Disability Act by holding this inaugural summit to engage the police, Ministry of Justice and other stakeholders. By strengthening the legal framework, enhancing implementation mechanisms, raising awareness and promoting collaboration between relevant stakeholders, Nigeria can further advance the rights and inclusion of persons with disabilities. Their focus here is that of continuous enlightenment to ensure better implementation, and they are, however, happy of some achievements made so far. What we are doing here is trying to bring stakeholders together to rob minds to see the extent to which um, stakeholders, particularly Ministry of Justice, the police, the immigration, all the um, law enforcement are aware of the law. And what are they doing towards ensuring that um, the law is being enforced? Five, seven years ago, we didn't have a situation whereby anytime you have a public gathering, you have a sign, a sign language interpreter. We're also happy to hear the information we got from other states, and of course, Delta states too. Even though you don't have a law yet, you already have some provisions in charge of the law. But people have to know that this law exists, and it has to be passed. Delta State government is yet to domesticate the disability art, but have made progress in the inclusion of persons with disabilities. Delta State has already given 5% of all employment quota to people living with disabilities. And there's already a review on that on the way. So I believe the government has put in a lot. 
especially with the new secretariat and all the facilities there. But I also think uh, a lot of the people living with disabilities are not yet tapping into what the government has provided. At the end of the summit, these lawyers are expected to come up with a communique that will reflect the robust engagement here. Ikenna Ameji, TVC News, Asaba.